Good uh, afternoon, everyone. Welcome to a new deal, you know, a new DLC release. Surely this time Paradox will have learned from their mistakes and have made things playable, right? I mean, it, it's it's impossible that after all these years, surely, you know, their 1500th rework of North America finally made things so great, right? Um, <coughs> <coughs> Welcome to a goddamn dumpster fire. Um, you know, when we saw the pre-release streams, um, see how broken. Yeah, this is a. This won't be an actual run, by the way. We'll be looking around, uh, around the place. Um, do you think they actually? No, of course they didn't. South America, you know, you could just like, just like select all and just delete it, and Paradox wouldn't notice. There's no way they uploaded the wrong version. There's no way. No, this is some of the like the worst crap I've uh zoom in South America. What do you mean? Where exactly? It's a bit of a big place. Um Yeah, so Leviathan is supposed to do a lot of things with regards to South America, right? Uh you said you wanna I, I will do it. I might not do it today. Didn't even add migratory areas. Oh, you mean these ones? Yeah, so, so, um... One of the new changes is that if you migrate as a native, um, you will now get this land, and when there's, like, a mission, I think, or something, when you reform, this will all become yours. Uh, that is not the case for South America. I don't even know if it's, like, um... I assume they... I assume they... They share the mechanics, right? So we can migrate. Yeah, so this this happens. But, like, you can see that in North America, they got already pre-done areas, right? But in South America, of course, you know, got to make sure to not update anything. Um, oh, there's so many. You could, like, literally fill hours of video with everything that's broken here. Um, one of the things... Is, is this the one that uh, that is, like, in the wrong place because of the wiki article? Yeah, it's a thousand kilometers in the wrong place because Paradox uses their wiki, uh, English Wikipedia articles as a source. It's just amazing. So Native Americans have this new mechanic where um, you have this federation. Um, these federations and, like, tribal development. And, like, devastation will slowly... Um, tick up in your your home province depending on um yeah due to tribal crazing but what i've heard is that um federations are just completely broken so what happens is that um everyone leaves the federation i think a single day afterwards so if i remember correctly we are going to be extremely um um, uh, we, we're going to be, um, getting a lot of, lot of notifications here. I don't think using wiki is the worst, but like the, the, the issue is more that like they're using English wiki for that. Try and find a primary source, right? I think for, for things like this, the, the bare minimum effort is you just try and find a native speaker who can, who can do that. Um, so we'll see what actually happens. There we go. There, they immediately left the, the confederation. Oh yeah, because of TI, so don't don't worry about that. Uh yeah, so now uh, now now everyone's out of the federation. Let's let's try to try it again, right? We we can invite these guys. Um try these. I think it's like something whenever they migrate, it's like, there's so many things. Yeah, there we go. Now they're gone again. Great, it's great. You know, um, there's just more, right? Um, 
God, where do you even start? Uh, yeah, yeah, so whenever you, like, migrate, you lose your rivals. So can I, can I show that? I, I don't... So I have preset rivals, right? Um, can I migrate anywhere? Yeah, I can migrate here. And we don't lose our... Huh. I think the AI does. I think they won't be in a federation with rivals. Yeah, something like that. Uh, I could just observe, obviously. But um, from what I've heard, the, the actual native gameplay is complete ass nowadays. Um, because you have to reform through all of this. Uh, and I think... Uh, you need, yeah, you need, like, federation, uh, things, cohesion, I don't know. Yeah, so you gain cohesion, you can do these things, and you very slowly go through these, and once you're done, you're still waiting around for ages. Um, in-house MP is the only QA they do. There was another thing, for example, with, um, um, Majipa Heat has a, a, a big honking focus tree. Uh, they started with a disaster called uh, the fall of Machipa Heat. Um, you can't <clears throat> uh, complete this with if you don't own the DLC. It's literally in the script. There's like a to-do. Fix this for people who didn't pay 20 bucks. Um, so Machipa Heat is literally unplayable if you don't own the DLC. Now, um, we are now Machipa Heat, right? So there's this new interaction called Concentrate Development. Um... They did this already, I think. Um, uh, they might not have. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, yeah, we could do it better with Ming. So, there's this new concentrate development interaction, but it works on tributaries. So, you see all these people, we can see all their, all their development. So, it's like 9th of January, right? Um... What a what a shame that you had this development, you know. What what it would be such so unfair if um if, if I would just take it all, right? Um So sad. So uh does no it costs nothing. They get they get liberty desire, right? You can see that. Diviat became uppity. Um Oh, look at this this nice Korean one, right? Uh this gives us six development. Here we go. Six more developments. Ah, three developments. Um, yeah, so it doesn't add all that much. Oh, you can do it everywhere. It moves their development here. Exactly. It's just, it's incredible. And the, 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 so the, what makes this really broken, um, for example, is that um, you can then dev up their capital, right? So what you can do is um, is you can get a subject, steal all their development, and then dev up that province, right? So it removes any penalty from devving up. Um... I don't think it works from natives, but I'm not 100% sure what the rules are for that. Um, but yeah, so Ayutthaya, um, where is there? Uh, look at that. It's not a development, right? Oh, what, a, what a shame. It's now six development. Ah, and this also leads us so nicely into some of the, the worst power creep I've ever seen. Um... Holy hell, some of these bonuses are insane, um, right? So, um, this one gives you my 7% of graphs for expansion. No, it's not that bad, but it just keeps adding on. Um, I think there's some more here. There isn't the map mode for these. Oh, yeah, this province has two, by the way. So, this one will give you autonomy change, um, Culture Converge Cosm, Promote Culture, it's not that great. Uh, Dev Cosm, oh, it's only minus 15%, you know, that's um, not that bad. Uh, 
Uh, where is the military one? Because I'm not sure. Is that the one? No, I think that's the one that needs to get built by... Um, isn't that the one that needs to get built by the... Um, by the Soros? Oh, no, here it is. Ah! Now that is what you call balance. Do they have 3D models? Um, the Maori, if you don't have the DLC, they have European models. And of course, uh, nah, it's too big, what a shame. It's the fire temple, so they have extra fire damage. <laughs> no, no, this is, this is better than an idea set, right? Like, this is the same amount of discipline you would get from, like, uh, quality and, um, quality and, and um, offensive together. No. It's local religion, right? So, to get this, you do need Zoro. Um, in there. But it's like... It's just like... Uh, Timurid Zoroastrian was already pretty stupid. Um... It's now even dumber. There is, oh god, they uh, the Timur the Zoro reli religion is broken as well, but I don't know if I can um, can show that. Let's see, you have no missionaries to send. Oh yeah, the forest color is. Ugh. So I want to quickly see if I can. Yeah, I don't care. Oh, they might. Kill the rebels. Where are you? Zoroastrian provoke. Oh, 50%. I know there's a way to make this better, but I don't care. Um, anyway, the Zoroastrian, they have, they got mechanics similar to Coptic. Um, it's broken. It uses the Coptic icons for everything. Um, oh, yeah, yes, of course. Do, 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 do. Sorry, you are very correct. Yeah, yes. And now we just need to... Yeah, we can't convert. What a shame. But uh, this should be a bit faster. The sick mechanics do not work. It's not implemented, just place all the graphics. Yeah, it's the same actually. Yeah, the sick ones, right? Yeah, it's um I can show that off real real quick as well, uh, after this. The uh sick is all pro programmer art. It's like you know what they showed off in the dev diary? Um They showed off in the dev diary with uh uh you know all the pink icons that's still in. Can I well, ah, this will take a little while still. Uh, but, uh, can't re can't even reduce autonomy because that's not our capital. The pyramids modifier in Cairo. Uh, there's a few modifiers that um give you monthly admin. So if you're pagan now, um, if you're pagan, you can get this one. So tech cost minus fifteen percent, idea cost minus ten percent, monthly admin plus one. Um. And Athens, yeah, Athens has it as well. Uh, monthly admin uh, plus one, and ad administrative advisor cost minus fifty percent. Like, <clears throat> there are so, so many things that um, that give you bonuses that are just like, all rightish, but they're still stupid. Uh, some of them you can move, right? So, um, some of them are too large. And they also have Versailles, which gives you plus one unrest in the area. But hey, it gives you a plus 20% national tax modifiers. Uh, London has the London Tower, um, which gives you army tradition and prestige at the highest level. There's also Stonehenge uh, here, which uh, gives you a missionary, but that's also if you're only in the pagan one. There, some of these are okay, right? But the thing is that like they can stack so much. Where are my polders? One, I think there's one in in Cologne. Yeah, the cathedral. 
cost of enforcing religious through war is like... What? Okay, sure, I guess that's like a, a modifier that exists. Honestly, I didn't even know this modifier existed, but hey. And the stone edge is one of the ones you can move, by the way. Um, <clears throat> I don't know how the fuck you would move Stonehenge, but sure. You can also improve it. Don't know what you would do. Um, I wish actually I'm pause another tick. So, um, one stone at a time. You say it's the mystery of the druid. <laughs> oh my god. Um... Man, if only I was a horde, I could show you uh, some other other bugs. Um, it's the mystery of the Druze. Yeah, sorry, you're very correct. Oh, here we go. Uh, accept the man. So there we go. And let's see. So now I need to uh, into. Integrate SRV. Uh, there's another bug, I think, that uh, I can show off real quick. What's the... Um, there's like fast... There's like fast conversion. Uh, I think there's a command for that. Um, sure, both exist. Uh, you, yeah, pagans have both now. Um, I don't know which group they're in. Uh, how can you check that exactly? No, they're in the Christian one. Because they're heretic. Why is this? Yeah, so here. Here we go. We have uh, Coptic icons. Coptic. And here it's actually Zorro. But, but, but yeah. Um... <clears throat> Truly fantastic. Um, it's just, just why? Um, what are the bonuses even? Corruption, local goods, missionary strength, governing capacity and construction costs. Man, man, man. Religious conversion from any Islamic religion is such a pain. Yeah, that's why you would take religious. Soro it's in its own group. You're right, they're all heathen. They're all heathens? I guess it kind of makes sense. You're right, I was wondering why it was like uh, nothing. Showing nothing there. Uh, why could I not convert you? Oh, territory and stuff like that, yeah. But yeah, you could just, you know, so we, we just conquered this, right? You could just concentrate development. Is that actually real? Please stay. What? Well, I mean, you know, it shouldn't really surprise me that much. <laughs> Does it change if I core it? There we go. Okay, that fixed that. Good grief. Um, didn't I integrate you? Yeah, there we go. Uh, we can accept the culture as well, making a uh, uh, power. Um, there wasn't a command to get all, but it doesn't matter. It should be fairly fast. Oh, come on. Seed of Strong Aristocrats. Uh, there, you, there's a command to set religion, but it's such a pain. Um, okay, fine. I'll show off the mechanic and another thing. So, um, what I wanted to show off is that you can just, like, upgrade these things up to high heaven. Right? So, you can up use money to... Um, to to upgrade any anything right so say you're like pretty rich um and you have like a, a few dozen k in the bank right you just start the upgrade and you just like 
Man, there we go. We just upgraded the Tower of London in a day for like 3k, which is really not that much, even in the late game. Yeah, so a thousand, and then you just... There we go. That's level three. We did it, kids. Spend 5k, and you just upgrade it immediately. Yeah, especially late game, right? It's nothing. There are so many monuments, but <laughs> there's no oh, there's no like um, uh, uh, there's no map mode for them, so I have no idea where they all are. There is not even that many in Europe. There are almost all of them. There are almost all of them in, uh, in Southeast Asia. Um, but there are so many here, um, and a lot of them also. Um, a lot of them also, like, give pretty, pretty insane bonuses. This one's pretty alright. Flory had a list. Yeah, I, I saw a list, um, um, I saw a list somewhere, yeah. Something in the in-game. Oh, there's an in-game ledger? That would actually be useful, but great projects, I'm guessing. Oh, Oh, that's... Okay, I like this with the images, but... But I can't click on them. Why can't I go to it? Remember that time when King George was like, let's level up the London Bridge? Yep. There's a lot of them, yeah. The Confucian Temple in me. How would you, like, find this? Monuments of Tears? Yeah, yeah, it's one to three. Uh... I mean, you, um, we don't have space here, Shill. There's no way we could have moved this a little bit to the right to not cut this off. One thing I, one of the things I do like, they changes the Panama Canal. Uh, once once you build that, um, it, it's actually like an upgraded one. I know it lists the province, but it's still a pain. Also, like, how would I find something in here? Um, Man, man, man. Oh, yeah, the Hagia Sophia is also one. Um, and gives you, like, these, these are the kind of bonuses that I would expect, right? Like, tolerance of the true faith. Uh, yeah, you can't, you can't move Mount Fiji. What, it's such a shame, you know? Um, such a shame. Yeah, there's so many. Uh, if, if there's any particular one you want to see, I know they wanted to see the one in um, in uh, in China. Yeah, it's in Kai. Could, yeah, Kun. Um, <laughs> Twenty. What? Minus twenty percent development cost. Wait, what do we even do when we upgrade a mountain? What what do we do? <laughs> How does this work? Um, I don't get it. <laughs> no, no, it's it's that. There's no way that's global. No, it's, it has to be local. The 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 pr development cost. <laughs> you build a chairlift. <laughs> oh man. What a shame. It's too big to be moved. I want Machu Picchu, sure. Um, if you can tell me the province, it would help a lot. Uh, if you have the list. Um, Abanke. Oh, thank you. Why is this still... Why is this bug still in, right? Another monthly admin one. So if you're a pagan and you own Machu Picchu, um, Athens and Cairo, you get plus three admin. And your idea costs minus 15% as well. Look, if you unify this, um, you get so much money from the gold. God.
Dip rep, dip reflation, income from pals, ab administrative efficiency plus 15%. What is this shit? What is it with these modifiers? Like, I'm only showing the top level one because actually upgrading it isn't that difficult. But even here you get five, but this is 5% core cost reduction and one dip rep from the get-go. Um, Stonehenge gives you uh, these modifiers. Oh, by the way, we can move it. Um, you can move it anywhere. Can you move it overseas? I want to check that. <sighs> missionaries and, like... Missionaries plus one, I think, is stupid. But, like, the missionary strength and the tolerance, those are the kind of modifiers I would expect from this. Um... Section show. Temple of Confusion. <laughs> oh yeah, the, the, the Maui has that as well. The plus, look, this is not the only one that has it. So this is Prestige, right? And Religious Unity plus 75%. But um, in, in Rapa Nui... Uh, Rapa Nui... Oh, it has to be colized. Um, This one gives you plus 65% as well. So, um, I mean, I don't know why, but 75% uh, of religious unity is a, a, a giant meme. So, Ming writes, um, oh, it's not upgraded yet. Uh, what are the bonuses at uh, lower level? It also goes from, like, from nothing to plus 50%. Like, why? <laughs> oh my god. Harmony increase. Yeah, that's, that's really good as well. Might make the religion worth having. It's just. <laughs> it's 166%. It's just so stupid. Um, let me. I want to check something. Uh, we'll see Ming dominate. By the way, it'll be it'll be fun. What? Well, I certainly didn't do that. Uh, I wanna, I wanna do um, colonization on the Maori province expansion. Uh, there are some more things I want to show off. I know there. I want to show off the uh, the PDS typo of the year as well, with the plus one hundred percent conversion cost. Um, yeah. Because I do remember the command for, uh, for fast, for fast colonization. Oh, sure. It's only a small indie developer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it. Um, I just, yeah, so there's a few policies that are with the, um, unfortunately I can't show you those, right? Uh, religious. Oh no, there you can see. Religious plus horde government idea. So missionary strength plus a hundred percent. It just works. So if you're a horde and you take religious and horde ideas, um, you can you can just convert everything. You just have to wait the uh, two hundred days here. Shame Ming doesn't get ideas. You know they really should get buffed. 
They placed one of them on. Oh yeah, I remember that because they it was like um, it was like all default the stuff they did to test the monuments, and they just they just forgot to move it. Why does Ming have no missions? They have four missions: one, two, three, four. Uh, because the the paradox that the mandate is too overpowered. It's already enough, which I disagree with. How many days do they actually work on this DLC? Uh, work days? None. Um, uh, free time days? Too many. Yeah, having OP. Yeah. Oh, oh god, oh, there's so many. I'll show Samarkand and then I'll show the Much Behead mission tree because it is it is so so stupid. Paid work. Uh, yeah. Like, like, you can just, like, go on for hours. There's so many other things. Uh, for example, uh, the Maori aren't native, so they can just make claims and build ships. Uh, the formables they have have um, generic ideas. I think this should just take a month. Yeah, here we go. There you go. So, kids, um, when you colonize Rapa Nui and you uh, pour a load of money into it, um, magically... Uh, people in your country won't be angry again. We fixed religion, guys. It's called balance. Oh, yeah, by the way, um, <clears throat> to be fair, who really wants to go there, you know? Because uh, we can just move it to Beijing. You know these giant, giant heads? Ah, ah, weird. <laughs> you can move them. Why not? Um, uh, let's see, some are cons. The Registrant Square. Prestige decay minus 20%. Why did they have, like... Cost of enforcing religious through war is, like, not great, but war score cost versus other religions minus 15% as well? Jesus. It's in the Dharma, yeah, this one is, this one is supposed to be in India. Also, like, okay, sure. Like, monthly autonomy is, is pretty good, but, uh... No, it is- this one is tied to religion, this one ain't. No, no, look, look, our enemies own the, the, the square, so they're allowed to take more from us. That's just how it works. It's just- just how it works. I should really turn off the fast colonized cheat, otherwise China's gonna go ham. Uh, tag maj. So, maj Bahit. They have, uh, their mission tree is stupid. Uh, here we go. Uh, this turns every single one of your tributaries into a vassal. They also get minus 100% liberty desire for 15 years. You can exploit development on all of them. <laughs> yeah, this, this turns every single one of your tributaries into vassals. Um, you see, these guys, they're now tributaries. And I can, like, make another one. Um, I don't think you could even, like... I, nah, you can't ask Ming um, at all. Uh, where is it? Shouldn't there be an interaction for offer here at Salvage Tributary? Yeah, so say I add, like, I don't know, England or something. Ugh, get back here. This is yes, man, so don't worry about it. Um, England will become a vassal. So, yeah, that's easy, right? Um, then you also have this one. Which enables the match per hit campaign casts belly against all nation all, all countries in the world. Uh, this CB gives you um, it's a subjugation CB. 
against every single country in the world. You can get this by like 1550. So you can have like, you know, uh, some of the most powerful, and it's, it's not one of those restrictive CBs, if I recall correctly. Um, so yeah, just go, go conquer the world, right? Um, to get this one, so these are like, your country's gonna explode, and you need to like kind of fix that. And then you uh, you do this one, which which ends the fall of Machbahid disaster. For this, you just need to have six tributaries that like you, and then they will all become your vassal. And of course, you you start with um, with two of these of of these temples, right? Um. Oh, oh yeah, another thing. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here we go. Unlocks to propagate religion trade policy. It's it's uh it, yeah, it's it's only a little bit unbalanced. Like this shit in mission trees is just insane. Because these are modifiers you can never get through other ways. And this, like, the propagate religion a policy for people who don't know, it's free propagation. And it also works in like um, in like trade companies. It's it's broken, and now you can have it too. Um, oh yeah, this one uh, like if you blockade China, you get a permanent claim on all coastal provinces in the Chinese subcontinent, which is also uh, very interesting because why not? Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, so I took a look at the Maori tribes. Um, hey, hey, guys, do you notice something very similar here? Um, I think a few of these icons might be identical. <laughs> Just a few. You know, making art isn't easy. It isn't cheap. But why the hell is all this placeholder art still here, right? Yeah, and like these are all shared, but they're like have prestige and have legitimacy, and you gain government reform progress. Um, yeah. By the way, this have prestige of sixty is the same one as this. So like, half of these requirements are identical. Um, unified the Polynesians. Oh yeah, the unified Polynesian ideas. They're great. Um, let's see, how do I do that? Seven own provinces within this area. Um, these are all the same, by the way. We can integrate T. Integrate 10. And into great team K. Um, T T T. There we go. Um, so right now we have Iwi ideas. Uh, I just think they dropped the K. Clearly, these should be Kiwi ideas. Um, the ideas themselves aren't fantastic. Uh, they're pretty all right, but uh, they sure as shit um, are better than national ideas. Can you imagine that? You get the event, you think, oh, nice, I'm gonna get new ideas, and then you get, like, get national ones, kid. Oh, man. You know, national ideas do still exist, right? They're not the only nations that have them still. Um, I don't get it, but, uh... Well, Yata has them as well, still, after all this time, for example... I don't I don't understand. I think there's also some here that have like insanely broken ideas. Um let's go play with the best tank the British ever made. Tongan ideas. Start with uh, only plus two dip rep. So I'm going, oh yeah, I saw that. Uh once you get like five and a half thousand debt you can develop for free. Um it's great. What do we have here? Nothing too insane. 
But why do these get like unique ideas? DNL, Fiji and ideas, missionary strength, prestige, uh, more prestige. <laughs> <laughs> just just copy my uh, homework a little bit, will ya? Uh, you go from Prestige from Naval Battles and you get Prestige from Land Battles, so thank you very, very much. Land Attrition, Production Efficiency, National Tax, and you start off with Aggressive Expansion. Um, how's Hawaii? Hull. Hawaiian Ideas. 20% Lightship Combat Ability. Wait! Lightship combat ability? Why? Do you... I mean, I guess for here, but... Uh, Navy tradition? Wait, when we have gained all the Hawaiian ideas, we'll also gain a loud recruitment of explorers and conquistadors? Wait, so the idea is that you just sit on your thumbs and don't take exploration at all. As Hawaii, you know, when this is what you see from the start of the game. Why would you wait until you finish three idea groups? <laughs> it's like, there's not even a placeholder there. It just doesn't exist. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, what do they have? Okay, whatever. Um, stab. Please the ha the Keha. Print claim Northern Polynesia. What? You gain one in each category. I guess that's all right, but that's a weird one. Uh, these are all Polynesian. Also, nice uh, text break there. Uh, these are all the same with, with like all these other nations as well. Uh, what else did they have? I saw something about... Um, I think I saw someone on the forum post how one of these will give you a... Um, a conquest CP, a subjugation CP on like a whole lot of people, but it will expire after a month. Uh, let's see if I can get this. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, by the way, kids. Um, you don't need an icon for this, right? Nah, you don't need it. It doesn't exist. I, I looked at this before and I was like, why, why? No, there should be an icon here. It just doesn't exist. Because this is tribal monarchy, despotism, stateless society, and then Polynesian kingdom just doesn't exist. So the weird thing is, we have Polynesian kingdom already enabled, right? Why is this here? But I want to test something. Um, prestige. Um, let's go access the speed one so it progresses. Stab. Um, oh, my bad. Because there is a bug with uh, some fun stuff. So, I want to see if I can do this. So, we take Stateless Society. And then I take you. Look, we now have Stateless Society and Polynesian Kingdom. So... You know, minus 99, minus 50. What what does this do, you might ask? Well, kids, it uh it gives you minus 20% core creation cost. It gives you aggressive expansion impact. Uh, it gives you stab costs. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't need, no need to test this. <laughs> it's, it's just impressive, man. There's going to be so many broken ones. And now I want to check what happens if I integrate stuff. I, uh, I don't think anything will happen, actually. Um, uh, I should have actually integrated them. Doesn't matter. Wait. Can't afford to. Oh, yeah. Um, ADM.
What? Oh, it's too far away. Right, fair enough, fair enough. Um, you're right, it's range. I should have integrated them. Ah, uh, wait, I can just release them. Give me a sec. Here we go. Atora. AOT. I want to check if I make it a state, if anything changes. No, it's still broken. But, but still, right? The thing is, you will never go over your cap. So not only do you have a stab that costs nothing. Let me see if I can no CB something. Here, no CB. Sure. Um... It costs 66 to raise with all of these others mod all the other modifiers right um but you have advisor cost of minus 100 percent so advisors um they're not free because um because they it's an additive modifier right but still it, it's capped at like minus 90 percent um but this does mean that a level 5 advisor is two and a half ducats a month. Yeah. Yeah, that, 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 that's balanced. Um, improved relations doesn't matter, but core creation costs, is, it's a big one. Uh, aggressive expansion as well. But like I said, the biggest thing is as well is that you, you don't have a limit to your, your governing capacity anymore. It's unlimited. So you can state everything... And you might say, oh, that costs a lot of admin. Yeah, but who cares? Because you've got 20% core, core reduction cost. And then you just say like, oh, I'll just hop, skip, and a jump over to, uh, to Cusco. And, you know, get that monthly admin power. Oh, it also has idea cost minus 15%. Hmm, what a surprise. Because now I've got even more Monarch points to spare. And it just, like, it just keeps going and going and going going i think there's also much you uh we were talking about much people there's another one i think over here uh touching where's that one uh tag nah oh we can't access that because we're um because we're a native that makes some sense i guess but I can go to tag Hawaii, how, and then we just integrate them. Nah. Here we go, Mesa Verde. Global modifier, tech cost minus 10%, idea cost minus 10%. So kids, by taking these two, you can get tech cost, my idea cost minus 25%. Um, just by existing. Man, it's the balance is truly the name of the game. Um, Kiev has one as well now. Um, in, no, there's one in, um... How does it work if CNs are going to own the damn thing? You just conquer it before them. You're you are not you're not native. You have boats. So are you gonna play a campaign after this grant? I I will. I, I there was my idea to like collect every single monument possible in New Zealand, um, which I might still might do. Samoan ideas. <laughs> you know why not? Fifth, my my mod's only only minus fifty percent. You know, unrest, app inefficiency. Why just not make it core creation cost? Um, female if I pr production efficiency plus ten percent. Um, ease intensity, legitimacy. Wait, okay, that's pretty cool. You know, why would you... So, religious unity plus 25%, right? If you take um, 
take this one. You'll uh, you'll you'll get like plus ninety five percent then as well. Man, but like if you're like I said, if you're a stateless society, it doesn't like. Um, any Polynesian can do this almost instantly, right? Because all they need to do is be a kingdom, which Hawaii starts as. Um, you can also get. Uh, I think this is probably not default though. Check what normal they normally get here. Wait, you get a skill three naval reformer off the get go. Um, yeah, that's sure. For core costs, you can move that from the Uncored province to your capital before coring. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me at all either. There's just so much. Um, the mission trees, like like I said, that they're all busted. Is it even minus fifty percent? Yeah, it's minus fifty percent. How is it? You're not. I don't know. Even with fifty percent, you can't. You. It's useless. Wait, advisor costs. Is that they're just their? No, no, it's their maintenance. With clerical advisory council. Oh, this was done by the AI, probably. But yeah, just do these two. You're paying zero point two five for. <laughs> you could like, you could pretty much pay for level threes already with that. God. Yeah, the the biggest broken thing though by far is um. Uh, level fives um, with this setup are going to cost you six ducats a month. But, uh, you know, JJ, it doesn't fucking matter because you can um, you can get minus 100 percent. Wait, oh, I want to check this, Sam. Oh, oh, no, I have an idea. Um... Uh, um, stateless society centralize the realm and now we are paying oh yeah it's still capped at minus, nine, uh, minus 90% okay so um, you know the idea is completely useless because you can just break it immediately Or look, we're paying two and a half ducats for this guy. And there's just so much. Like, I, I, um, let's see. Yeah, so Paradox is saying that they're going to put a patch out next week. Um, frankly, I don't believe it. Uh, here, 1.31 relief with Leviathan in two weeks' time. Wait, with Leviathan? But we're in 1.30, so I'm guessing that's later. Yeah, thank you for highlighting these errors. Um. Oh, did they fuck up the lakes? I think they fucked up the lakes. No, 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 which one is this? Lake something with a C. No, it looks all right here. Why was it wrong in the... in the? Um... It still looks really weird. Look, there's like... What is going on with it, though? No, the, 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 they showed both of these. The other one was um, was Lake Tulare. And that's this one. There's still... What the hell's going on here? Check the Inca Lake. That's still working. That's no longer like... A hole in the giant ground. Yeah, exactly. They look painted. They're not. They're not like uh, actually moving water anymore. That's 
that's really weird. My guess would be there would also be a... Oh, here we go. Da -da 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 -da. Owned areas and provinces. Province modifier. Local development cost minus 20%. Can you move this? Oh, it's too large. I, um... I'm gonna pretty much guess that you can break... Um... That you can break a province, like your capital, by just moving enough things there to give you minus dev costs. It wouldn't surprise me if that's possible. Yeah, like, this one is fine. Like, the bonuses are good, but it's local. Own province and area minus five defense costs, perfectly balanced. Bjorn B replies as if this issue seems so obvious that even loading the countries that Levine were sold on should reveal them were unknown. While people legitimately think they're getting a wrong version, noting, big, noting bugs down to fix extremely discouraging, especially because it means this version was the planned one. Uh, Paradox is no QA. Yeah, you can make Beijing 100 dev without unpausing. And sure, your vessels are going to be uppity, but who gives a shit? Because they're tributaries, they're not real vassals, so it doesn't matter. Um, what else is there? Yeah, so there's a multiplayer bug where if multiple people play as custom nations, um, where multiple players custom nations, they'll all get the same area settings. So if you have like one guy making a custom nation and you play as like uh, the examples of Lithuania. Um, yeah, sorry, if one player is custom nation and someone else is Lithuania, they'll get reduced down to an OPM. And that's not something I think I can show off here. Um, there's also some bug with um, rulers getting real big. I'll see, this one is um, the pillage capital CB, but I don't know how to get that. There's a bug with that as well. Uh, what else did they have? There was a, here we go. It's Tonga who gets... Yeah, yeah, so Tonga gets mission... Um, oh, God. When will they ever fix it? Tog. Yeah, so here... Um, here. 100. And... Uh, We need to subjugate Samoa. Okay, fine. Declare war. Have an alliance with them. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, we lost it. What a shame. You know, I pressed the space bar, but we lost it already. Ah. 10 out of 10. 10 out of goddamn 10. Let's see. What else do they have here? Yeah, there's a few generic ideas out there. Um, there's just so many things. Yeah, there's a lot of things that will only manifest if you play a bit. But the thing is, it's even like if you play for half an hour, you can notice these things. Vurun, Vurun, Vurun. These are the wrong unit models. That looks all right to me. Remember, I am playing. Um, I am playing with the DLC, but I did notice a few others. That if you don't have the DLC, they use the European default model. Yeah, exactly. I, I checked that before I bought the DLC, but um, so that's uh, that's really really nice. But like I said before, like they, as usual, don't test with the DLC at all, or without it. Um, like I mentioned before, you can you just cannot complete the Magic by Hit tree um, if you have uh, if you don't have the DLC. Oh, here we go. Palawa are the really broken ones. Palawa, Palawa. Tag P L W. All right, kids. Mor morale of armies, 
10% production efficiency, minus plus 20% shock damage, 15% aggressive expansion reduction, minus 10% tech cost, plus 10% land fire damage, and manpower recovery speed, and then to top it off, you get more military skill. Uh, this is what you call a uh, balance, my friends. And of course, you still have the pretty crampy native stuff. Um, the ed so the idea with migration is that you, um, it's like your province will tick up this, um, tick up uh, devastation pretty quickly due to grazing. What is their religion mechanic? They have uh, die. Plus minus two unrest, minus ten construction, and minus cell development. Plus ten percent. Hey, there, those are very identical. Yeah, you know, no one could have noticed this, right? It's just, um, it's just impossible. No one at Paradox has the actual time and money to, uh, to try and, and fix this. Either in Darius, it's 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 a it's a pretty, it's pretty big dumpster fire. Wait, these are the these are fetishist icons. Oh my god. Uh yeah. Oh yeah. Sh sick, of course. Um. Anyway, same the same. Tech cost is pretty good discipline as well, but those are fairly normal. Um. Sick. Is it already gone? Um. Wasn't it like? Yeah, it spawns later. Um. Yeah, if you have the event idea, I could look it up for you. The first one, should, yeah, it just it doesn't surprise me at all. Are they suggesting that a native in North American ocean just casually to burn down the land around them? It's like, it's like one of those things where they didn't really think about implications, right? Because it it makes sense that a um, a tribe that would move around. Would actually like slowly remove the um, erode the land, but it's like it's just devastation. Not the mechanic you would do for that. Tech deal. Same event. Sickism flavor. One. There we go. And now we are sick. And now I need to convert a Sikhism. And, uh, uh, thank you, programmer arts. Uh. <laughs> it's just so sad. It's just so sad. Oh my God. And it does nothing. Let's see, so we have production efficiency plus five, right? No, it does work. But this is just... From your gurus. Um, yeah, either, wait. Heater Lodi, but that's not the same name. And it's Appman. Oh, there's just no localization there. Look, it just says plus one. It does just, no, it works, but it just says plus one. Oh my god. Oh. This is just... Uh, why? Why, pair 20 bucks for this? Um... Oh yeah, there, there is, there were actually, um... Um... There are actually some provincial modifiers with monuments that are uh, global ones or vice versa. Uh, yeah, of course I can still ask for a refund. Thank, thank freaking God. 
I never expect anything from a PDX game on launch, but this is still, this is like, um, this is like the, the, the epitome of Paradox's small lemonade stand, no QA required steps. It is, um, frankly, who said that again? I think it was in my Discord. Um, no, no, it's like every single DLC is, is, is worse and worse and worse. Do you think this launch will affect? And it won't. They, they never care. Epitome, epitome, potato, potato. I'm just going to pronounce the way I want to. Um, um, what someone said was the nameplates of Lao. Oh, yeah. Um, L A U. Yeah, why, why not? Um, yeah, so someone mentioned that the um, Paradox is just using up the goodwill. Uh, just it, it, it always does, right? Um, and they, they just keep writing on it. And it just shows uh, they're spending it like cash. Yeah, um... Another problem is you'll never be able to dock your fleet. Yeah, have fun, like, trying to right-click on there in a, in, a, in a fast battle or something. Um, they're running on fumes. I just don't understand it. Because um, Paradox has never been fantastic with it, right? But Emperor was already a bloody mess. Tsushima. Yeah, this is even smaller. Um... Emperor, yeah, except Emperor should have sounded the alarm. I mean, if you don't, don't, do you not guys, uh, well, I'm sure you do, but at the start of Emperor, for example, you couldn't ask for money in a peace deal. You just wouldn't get it, right? And these are things that anyone would notice within, like, five minutes. Frankly, you could write an automation script um, that would check these kind of things, you know? And it just shows that... Um, most anticipated since Art of War to complete. Yeah, and this this wasn't as anticipated, but this is just impressive how poorly this is done. And the fact they asked 20 bucks for it is just disgusting. I mean, oh, look, this one actually has a freaking icon for once. But, um, you know, Hawaii doesn't. And it takes you 20 seconds to notice this kind of thing. Um, from what I heard, native gameplay is uh, extremely boring. You now press different buttons and then wait for 200 years instead of the other buttons and then wait for 200 years. Um, uh, we, we already saw that confederations are completely busted and you require those to progress your mission tree as well. We Leviathan now? We are, we are in Leviathan now. Um, it is uh, 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 balanced, to say the least. It is... Very balanced. Uh, we are playing with, like, cheats between quotation mark, but uh, uh, core creation cost minus 20% is achievable within two or three years. Oh, yeah, you want to see um, uh, programmer art? Because uh, I got to say, I do like the look of it. It's pretty pretty. Uh, I, I mean, uh, could have been worse, you know? It could have just not functioned at all. Or they could have forgot localization for modifiers. Uh, it's just... This is frankly the most disappointing release ever. The balance is terrible. Um, the... Oh yeah, you want to see another fun one? Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. This is a uh, monument you can get. You can get only, uh, that's only 10% discipline and 50% fire damage. I mean... Sure, you have to be Zoroastrian, but, uh, I mean, that completely offsets the bonuses from this, right? Um, there is... Show the Guru bonus under your mana. Yeah, I already showed that where it just isn't localized. Um, show Ming... Oh, yeah, Ming can get... Um, I already did that, right? Yeah, so... Um, Beijing should have about 100... Oh, 75 dev. I didn't do as much, but... um. 75 dev. Um, this is in 48, and I did not manually dev this up. This is all from the interaction where you can seize 
uh, development from your subject. You see this this um, nice courtian, right? Not, not much, but it's mine now. And now we have 75 dev. And uh, that this can go on for uh, quite quite a while. How much do we have now? Should be like 80-ish? 80 84. Yeah, easy peasy. Oh yeah, so yes, we have a bit of cash. This was partially cheated in, but it's not an impossible amount. Um, you can upgrade the Forbidden City. And um, Rome might not have been built in a day, but the Forbidden City sure was. Ah, oh, God. It just, you can just go on for a while. Match Pahir has some of the most broken missions out there. Uh, you can get a CB against the entire world in about 1550. This was the MP. No, no, no. We're at Leviathan release today. Uh, we also have a mission called Seacomb Cucumbers. Also, very nice uh, icons there. Uh, you can get... Uh, there's more. You can get a uh, Propagate Religion as Hindu. You can turn uh, all of your vas all of your tributaries into vassals. Yeah. Every single country you can see in the world. Favors are also broken. Oh, yeah, we didn't even take a look at favors, right? Um, so... So now you have an interaction. Oh, we need to be, like, kind of... We need to like us, I think. So there's a favor interaction called Curry Favors. Uh, it should be under Diplomatic, actually. Influence? Curry Favors. Here we go. Let me actually do this with a actual example. Say we're like a small nation, like, um, yeah, so, sure. And you go to Austria, you can curry favors. And so this will slowly increase the amount of favors we get. Um, that's very little, actually. Um, the thing is, though, that you can have... Yes, man, I think it's still turned on. Oh, no, it's actually turned off. Anyway, uh, you can get um, favors for money, men... Sailors, um, you can request an error of your dynasty. Sure, it's 90 favors, but um, yeah, so you see, uh, if you want to PU on any nation now, you just idle a bit and do that. But um, I'm not sure if you know this, but um, the AI is a uh, is AI, well, uh, isn't that great? So you can cheese. Uh, one thing that JJ did with uh, the Ottomans in our multiplayer was that by declaring war on a small nation and then making sure that they can't take anything, you can get like 40 favors from a giant nation. So it is not un impossible for you as a small starting nation to just ally a big country. And like... Um, like, the Ottomans will give you just a decent amount of money. And this might seem not like a lot, but, I mean, do it with Ming. Like, say you're... You can just get 800 ducats for 10 favors. And that is not an impossible amount. It scales to their income. You can just get... Like, just... Just throw a diplomat to curry favors on Ming, and you just like, you don't even have to declare war to actually, you know, visit the Bank of Ming anymore. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I think it costs some money. I assume it would. And of course, this skills only more and more and more into the late game. So, um, yeah, I, I would assume so. Uh, I don't know if there is a debug command for favors. I would assume so. They add a curry favors. Yes, you can curry favors. So say, so say you're like an order at size nation, right? Uh, does Ming like me? God, I need to find a big nation that Ming likes. Or, core. uh, actually they will hate me because, uh, so let's see how much we'd get, right? I want to give it a quick look, see what's like kind of realistic. So we will now get about. Of course, we're not we're not allied too, so you should be allied for the the best results here. 
we can't do that because we are tributary. Hmm. Anyway, the idea is that, that with an alliance as well as being a big nation, you'll get a decent amount. Um, let me give a good example here as well. Yeah, the Ottomans kind of kind of dislike us, but that doesn't matter. Uh, no, it does because I want the alliance. Okay, just look at what the alliance they already have. Ramazan, yeah. Do, 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 tactile C. I don't know. Um, Tun. So the Ottomans are very allied to them, right? So we could curry favors. So. Um, so we get half a favor a month. That means that we get about 1.2. Um, a month, so times 12, right? So that's six favors a year. It costs 10 favors to do this. Um, so like every once and a half year, um, we can we can do this. 20 months equals six months of Ottoman income, uh, basically. Do you know how large of a company Paradise was in the EU4 and Seeker 2 drop? They were still sizable. Like, they were already a pretty decent... Um, already a pretty sizable um, uh, publisher and company. But they weren't as big as they are now. Because they make so much money now. That's like the biggest um, mark against Paradox as well. It's just the fact that they earn so much money. Just favors. Yeah, thank you. Favors. OTT. Wait. <laughs> That's tur. Yeah, just Ottomans is at war. Yeah, yeah. So I wanna, I wanna check if they you can do when there are debts, because that seems that seems like pretty like the the fun stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care. She of the new one faith meta. Oh yeah, yeah. The. Um... So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a bunch of loans. And then go to tag tune trade ah no when they're in debt it doesn't work it's a shame that's a real shame however soldiers work so um what you can actually do is just deplete their manpower pool Uh, let's see. Um, show up the new one faith meta. Yeah, so uh, let's say we're a horde, right? And so we can take... Uh, well, let's do like tech 10. I don't really care. So let's say we take horde government ideas and want religious, right? So... Uh, and so we're like... We're playing along the game. We get... um. And then we say, no, we can take a nice policy, right? Let's um, let's take Esprit de Corps. It's um, it's called balance, Dovarish. Yeah, that's a hundred percent. This is very real. Fun fact: this bug has been in since Emperor released. This is not new. At all. No, I'm pretty sure it's been in since Emperor. Yeah. I want to quickly check something. Yeah, that's fine. Tech call. Yeah, so... um, What provinces are, like, notoriously hard to convert, right? Here. Uh, integrate... Pap. So you see Rome, right? Uh, well, it's not, not Rome. Here we go. Ro Roma. Gets in his power, Bellas, Bellisica. Minus 10% courier power cost. Like... Wait, what? There's just... Oh, it might be for me that there's no bonus. 
Um, that makes sense. Yeah, um, I don't know, it's only 95%, guys, it's not that much. It'll take, like, a whole month. Yeah, it's, uh, it's just because we're Catholic. Uh, yeah, I don't care. Oop. I just want to uh, release Rome again. I want to see what the bonuses are for that one. And the Pope. Tag Pap. Here we go. Yearly Papal Influence, Clergy Influence plus 15%. Time for a Catholic Pope? Yeah, you know. Okay, good. We are Catholic. I thought they broke that again. Oh yeah, I still love that this is this is a thing. Um Cause why why make this look any better? Um yeah, this monument isn't isn't immensely good, but the the actual loyalty could probably be timed very well. You don't need to conquer Italy first? Yeah, yeah, yeah you do. You do. Yeah, you need to conquer all of this. No, no, no. I, it's it's grayed out, so don't worry. Don't worry about that one. Um, because Paradox is a lemonade stand. Um, yeah, it's because you get released this one. What do you have here? Why would you ever upgrade this? Local defensiveness is nice, but it's a flatlands. It's global. So you get... Wait, what is global? Please don't tell me the local unrest minus three and the local defensiveness is... Um, global defensiveness. Is that global defense? It's like global unrest minus one and global defensiveness plus 15. That's pretty all right. Um, yeah, that's balanced. Take over and test it. No, no, right now it's broken. Uh, it's not the right one. Uh, the Inushnook? Which one do you mean? Oh, this one. Um, I need to go to... Uh, he I hear the eye Oh, is that the... Is that the one we already took a look? Oh, no. Is that the right province? Ah, Yeah, it is. Uh, that's really annoying. Uh, we need to colonize this to actually take a look at it, but I can quickly do that with tag nor. Uh, whoops. Give me a second. Tag five. Uh, yeah, I'm not Canadian. Checkmate there, atheist. Ah, uh, wrong one. I need the range, very likely. Can I reach it? Um, no, fast colonization should be turned on fast. Let's see. Yeah, we can just do tech like 20. You're right, it's a good idea. Uh, fast, it would like be super, super fast anyway, so it wouldn't really matter. So we um, just need to quickly send a colonist and just wait 200 days. Was it still turned on? No, no it's, it's enabled now, so it's fine. What was that icon? That was new, I think. Yeah, um, so these are actually, I wanna do the construction of the Panama Canal as well, um, because it actually has a global trade bonuses, I think now as well. Do you know what the absolute fuck this is supposed to represent? It's a pile of rocks. I wonder when we upgrade this mine unit, do we just like add one more one more rock on top? Oh, I've been to this the the the, the Stava Kierke. It's really nice actually.
Global modifier, step cost, missionary maintenance, minus 20%. Again, the kind of bonus I would like to see. The art for the monuments is great. I really like it. It's really well done. But I have a feeling like this is where... Um, uh, this is where all their budget went to. Oh, man. It feels very much like Ouija, you know, Wargaming, where the art is really, really nice, but the actual gameplay is shit. Inshooks were common. Re okay, so this is like a very common thing. Why? Yeah, China. Yeah, I gave China all the text, so that's not very surprising. Come on. Just 55 days. They're meant to be way worse. Ah, they're like those things. Yeah, I see. Then we feel like fun. It's just. I'm just. I don't know. I, I, I don't very much understand that. It's the. Um, I mean, maybe it's a particularly big one or something. I'm not sure. All right, let's see what a pile of rocks gives us, kids. Cost of advisors with max promoted cultures plus three? What? Advisor cost minus 10%, sure, but cost of advice with rulers culture? There are other ones that give you like minus 25% anything. Any, any, any ones. Oh, can we move it? Oh, we can actually move it. We can move a pile of rocks to our capital. Fantastic. Feel like effects that it was stereotypes in Canada. It it unironically wouldn't surprise me. What do we have here? Oh, there's another one like this. <laughs> I didn't know that. Oh my god, there's three. There's three. No. One second. I have to do this. You'll see in a second why. Oh, it needs to be, okay, it needs to be converted, right? Um, no, it needs to be Theravada, but you can probably get that to that somehow. Ah, it's a shame. Anyway, um, interesting bonuses, but uh, I mean, we don't really need it anymore, you know? We already have 261%. Um, because we have some some rocks in our capital. Oh, we haven't moved it yet? Isn't, is that still not moved? No. Oh yeah, the, the, the Maui heads have 65% um, religious unity as well. Europe has no monuments. Uh, there's a few. Yeah, exactly. Just like give it to a Theravada vessel and just never convert it. Easy. The harmony growth and the unity. Um, let's take a look. Um, I gotta go do some units. Yeah, cheers, uh, Black Wind. See you later. Uh, thanks for popping in. Yeah, there's a few in Europe. Um, so say we. Of course, you can just un um, just harmonize with it, and it'll, it'll literally never be an issue. Yeah, I'll just increase with three a year. Humans positive ability intolerance of truth that plus 0.18. Oh, that's just the difference from, yeah, it's from that. Get more harmony from you. Well, I, I wouldn't know, but apparently not. Uh, but yeah, the, so in, in Europe, you have the Notre Dame and Versailles, both in the same province. Um, their bonuses aren't super great, but like this has... Plus one local unrest, which is a very interesting one. Um, England has one in the Tower of London. We also moved... They also moved Stonehenge. I didn't do this, by the way. But you have Stonehenge. Um, Harmon is such a problem... Fun, fun mechanic. It's like a problem for 20 times slower in your whole country service. And there's the, the Cathedral of Köln, which... Um, 
does this, and I don't understand why. No, you can't move Versailles, unfortunately. It's too big. Yeah, there's a Kremlin as well in um, in Moskva. Here we go, the Kremlin. Which uh, makes your manpower cheaper. Yeah, it's the Kremlin. It teleported back in time, just like the cathedral. Um, like, no, Hoovy. You know, you know why it isn't crazy at all. It's because the AI just uses Strelzi everywhere, so it doesn't matter anyway. There were loads of Kremlin. Yeah, yeah. It's the Kremlin. Which one they're referring to, we don't know, but it is the Kremlin. Man, man, man. And like, we're, um, oh yeah, you have expand infrastructure now as well. Kremlin just means, oh, what a meme. I think you can build some as well. Doesn't RC affect maintenance? I don't think it does. Oh, oh no. Oh, I have a re oh, I want to check something. I want to, I want to check something. Um, so Hawaii has something really balanced where, um, they have no governing capacity, but can I just at infinitum expand this? Um, Okay, it does need more development. That's a shame, but that's still a uh, still a good meme. Such a shame it doesn't actually increase at all. I wanted to see bigger bonuses there. That would be great. I'm pretty sure it'll be called like the Moscow Kremlin. Yeah, best uh, best as it's right now. I trust him there. Uh, let's see, Pigou. I'm sorry, what? Advisor cost minus 25%. Dip rep plus three. What? By the way, there is another monument uh, right here in Bangkok that, um, you know, gives buffs as well. There is one um, uh, right here. There's two that give buffs as well. Um, yeah, it just includes a cool minus 15% uh, cost. Should there be one in Khmer too? Um, take a look around. <coughs> what? Uh, okay. It's only minus 15%, right? Um, so we have, uh, Angor, what? Here? Minus 15% tech cost. Then you just do a, a quick a hop, skip, and a jump over here. You get minus 15% idea cost. And then uh, just to top it off, you um, go over here for another minus 10 tech cost and another minus 10% uh, idea cost for um, uh, balance. Yes. Just a little bit of balance. What the hell? In Turkey? Another one of all men, Matisha. It unironically wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> it's, 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 oh my god! You can get like minus 50% idea costs and minus 50% tech costs. What is this? Look, we store dead people. So we get tech cost reduction. And yeah, it's not even locked to a religion. Oh my god. And again, upgrading these costs like 3k. Good god. Does Italy have a few? Uh, yeah, yeah, so they have the St. Peter, which is pretty mediocre. 
Uh, is there anything else here? I'm guessing there isn't. There really isn't all that much in Europe. Venice. Nope. You have one in Constantinople, of course. The Hagia Sophia, which uh, is one of like the the balanced ones. Um, what else do we have? Let's go. Just start from the top and uh, go see them all. South Tyrol, Venice area should have one. Ambrose Castle. The local defensiveness in mountains is pretty good. Um, yearly prestige. Yeah. Maybe there's a reason they sent these people to the other side of Europe. God, show the one in Granada. Um, that's here, right? Oh, yeah, Alhambra. Dip rep plus one, dip relations plus one, income and admin efficiency plus 15%. Ah. Like, there are so many. Holy, yeah, they're all insane. There's one in Lisbon as well. Um, pay in a palace local. Again, wait. <laughs> Look, they misordered them. You get, <laughs> you get the best bonus from the get go. Oh, uh, thank you, Paradox. Oh, uh, thank you. You never cease to amaze me. It's province versus state. You're right, but still, why? Oh, okay, you're right, but still. Oh, God, Anchor, what we saw that one. Them not Trade, global trade, fort defense, and caravan power. Oh, God, this one is good for trade. Jesus Christ. This is ridiculous. Like, that caravan power? You just dominate inland trades. And just, like... Wait, what? 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 Local defensiveness, little bit more local, and you just boink. You lose, you lose the local, def oh, it goes to global fort defense. Good grief. Jesus. Um, I wanna show the one of the canal ones as well. Tag meme, um, Uh, you have to, you know, construct the Panama Canal. Uh, cash, cash. Yeah, I know it's the wrong one, but it's only more money anyway. Um. Oh, it's twenty thousand. My bad. Yeah, yeah, I'm just being stupid. So it actually takes money to be made. So before, right, it costs you so much money, so much time and money. Now, um. Built the Suez Canal in a... Wait, what? It's just immediately fully upgraded? Why do they even have the levels? Yeah, of course, why not, you know? And this one's, like, pretty useless. Um, here you go. It should be, like... Where was it? Here it is. Fifty flat trade pass pretty good, but nowhere near as broken. Yeah, it's like the thing is, you're gonna get this so late; it doesn't even matter. Like the the fifty, um, the the five percent global trade power should be way way more, in my opinion, to make that worth it. 
Hagen. Oh, there's another one here? Oh, look, it ha doesn't have... It loses its... Um, what? Go from three to five, and then you lose it, because it goes back to a province modifier. And what? I assume this is supposed to be 7%, but that's, that's, I mean, this is obviously a bug, but still. Is that supposed to be like plus 7% or something? Global modifier, local missionary strength. Yeah, that, that's not right either. Um, I want to check this tag, Ava. Yeah, it's not here. Um... Let me integrate Cal. Yeah, no, it just doesn't work. That's just broken. 10 out of 10. Yeah, some monuments you have to actually build uh, yourself. Uh, I think we already took a look at this one. This one was the uh, fire temple, yeah. I just can't get over how broken this is. Is that one unbuilt? The one we just looked at before? No, it's not. It was level 2. It's only 10% discipline. No, no, here it is. Um... Yeah, it says level 2. But local is one is a local uh, is a province modifier. It's not a global modifier, so it won't work. Um, because those, yeah, like I said, those effects just don't work if they're put in the wrong category. Kota Diggy. Oh yeah, wait. Yeah, that's one we were looking at. All the the autonomy cultures and the uh, dev cost and missionary and missionary strength. The thing is, the idea is really, really nice, right? It adds a lot more flavor and makes sure, like, your conquest much more targeted. The issue is the balance is all over the place. Um, and a ton of them are just broken. Like, just... Yeah, just broken. Another one that's missionary, missionary strength. Why is it supposed to be Theravada? Buddhist say, oh, I mean, it's for Buddhist, but are there Buddha statues here? I mean, I don't know. Feels like it's misplaced as well. Do you really understand? <laughs> um, we already took a look at so. Did we? Did we not? No, we haven't. Chicken. It's, uh, what do you have? Wait. Recruitment time minus 50%. You know, not the most significant one, but that's a huge amount. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Mord, cheers. It also might have been better if there wasn't any flavor and everything. Just yearly prestige. <laughs> um... I think the issue here mostly that that um, the balance is all over the place. I would rather them have like unique things, like one or like two percent global missionary strength is not easy, but also it's a lot. But also like um, make the upgrading much more expensive. It costs a thousand ducats to upgrade this now. It's just insane. There's a sailor's female. Uh, it it honestly wouldn't surprise me. Pretty sure there's gonna be a sailor's one. Oh, it's another tech cost one! Nice! Ah, oh, the dream of minus 100% tech cost comes ever and ever closer. That's fantastic. It just never ends. The Kulin one we took a look at. Taga Sophia. Samarkand we took a look at because that one's in the wrong place. What is that, 55%? Something like that. Um, we took a look at the castle. I think we already took a look at Laza. This is the one with more unity as well. Pegu, we took a look at. Kiel's not built yet. 
Kiev. Give us is an interesting way to spell that. Give us. Um, tolerance of true faith and yearly patriarch authority. I mean, it's a lot of tolerance of the true faith ones, but sure. Thanks, yeah. The Great Wall of China. Garrison growth, local defensiveness, and blockade impact on siege? What? It's a landlocked wall. No, 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 no. It, it, it makes it, it... You can shoot, like... No, no, they're, they're like, so high. You can see them from space, obviously. Uh, you can, like, shoot your cannons, like, across... Um... Man. But it's, like, own province is an area. So just east... East... Uh, uh, Zhangzhou is better. That's it. Don't don't think about it. Just don't think about it. Uh, what's the other one? Chow. Naval for Naval force limit plus fifty percent. Jesus Christ! Casual uh, giant fleet. Yeah, no, you know what? Why not? Not sure if you don't stop, so you might not be able to refund. Um, God, you're right. I'm not hugely worried about that. Like I'm, I am. I'm convinced that Paradox will fix a decent amount of that in the future. But right now, it's just pathetic. I already refunded. Now I need to first write a review, right? Um, I can do that actually while I'm not playing. There's no coming back from this. Uh, I literally have seven minutes left. So I'm going for a little bit longer. Um, we took a look at all of these already. Notre Dame, Panama Canal, Parthenon. We took a look at that already. But I'll show you. Then I, I, I'm, I'm going to leave a bad review, but I won't. I don't think I'll refund it. Yeah. It's also fair, you know, fair and balanced monthly admin plus one and admin swift cost uh, advisor cost 50%. You can buy it later. You're not wrong there. You're you're not wrong there. Um We're almost done with this as well. So that's good. Lisboa, Manan. What do we have? Another one that has dip rep and diplomatic relations. So you take this one. So here we go. Dip rep plus two, right? Then you go over here and um, you get dip rep plus three. And then you go, was it like over here or something? There was another one that gave you dip rep. So you just get like plus five dip rep. Um, good. Uh, oh, we already took a look at that one in Bali. But there's one here as well? National unrest, step cause modifier, monastic order, liberty, like, weird one, but fine. Like, this is perfectly all right. Um, Gahir, uh, is that four in around Sumatra? There's like, no, no, there's there are two around there. Uh, it's just Pagan, which I think is all right, but A, it's more tech cost than idea cost. So if you're Pagan, like a lot of these will only give you bonuses as Pagan. Yeah, yeah, JJ, because only the Pagans could unlock the secret cheat code in um, in the pyramids to actually get that. And then we took a look at these. Mushashi. I know I pronounced it horrible, but just don't complain. Uh, war taxes cost minus 75%? 
But it's too military. What? Why is it minus 75%? What is that modifier? Minus 25% will literally do nothing. Yeah, I don't know. General cost is the same. Oh, I guess that's for recruitment costs. Fine, I guess, but... It won't do 0 0.5 mil, but it's, it is an idea to check. Tag you with. Cash. Cash. Which is good because we're actually at war. So enable war taxes. Will cost zero per month. Wait, so it rounds down. Or... No, they haven't taken it yet. It just it's it's the same as minus a hundred percent. It's just permanent free war taxes. That is okay, permanent free war taxes is insane. Um here you go. No, war tax is minus zero. So we go from seven, so we go to five five. Oh sorry, yeah, no, it's five, yeah. Wait, so 253 plus 5, 258. Yeah, that works. But this just gives you a permanent 15% discount on your maintenance. That is si very significant. You can gain 1 mil if you take the free mil. Oh, God. Can I... Under... Oh, please. I don't think it will. I don't think it will. Nah, that doesn't. What a shame. That's a shame. Paradox actually doing their QA for once. It's a freaking miracle. Um, they're gone. Oh my god, they're right next to each other. Local unrest minus two. Local unrest minus two again is probably broken and you like to lead to the me plus uh, plus zero point five. Oh and there's also one like right here. So they're they're very far apart, you know. Tash Mahal Central oh. Central Doab. Second attack. Whoop. Local unrest minus two yearly prestige plus two prestige decay as well. Prestige. Wait. It's Sunny? The Taj. Why would Sunny matter for the Taj Mahal? I am guess that's. I mean, I kind of guess that's right. Yeah, Prestige Decay minus 2% is really, really good. You should start off with only 5%. So if you're a great power and you have this, you only get, like... If you have this as a great power, you can easily uh, just be permanent. That's fine. It was a Sunny Sultan. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, that was my expectation. I just wasn't sure. Um, but yeah, this means that you can be at a permanent 100 easy peasy. If you have it, it's trivial. It's your capital, 1,000 dev. We're looking around. We're not actually playing a campaign there, Pizza, but uh, good to see you. Yeah, fair enough. Cheers. Uh, I uh, wasn't sure. Mexico. Mexico. I oh, took a look at this one, right? Yeah, it's just fine. Building costs. Perfectly acceptable. Beijing. Yeah, that's Forbidden City. We already upgraded that one either. Oh, it's another minus 2% prestige decay. You can just be at a permanent 100%. Um, if you get this one and the other one, nice. Also 0 0.5 absolutism, which is absolutely broken. Uh, there's one that gives you plus one absolutism as well. God. Oh. 
Bangkok. Oh yeah, this one is aggressive expansion. Absolutism. Yeah, this was the yearly absolutism plus one. It just works. It just works. The Kremlin, the Great Wall. We took a look at the Tower of London first side. That's it. Jesus. What an absolute goddamn mess. I can host with a DLC. That's perfectly fine, obviously. Ah. Uh. Like, I think the Ayutthaya tree is also completely broken. Um, I think it gives you claims on, like, all of China? Oh, yeah. Gain a permanent claim on that China subcontinent. Ah. Uh, I unironically would not mind hosting a multiplayer uh, for this so other people can play around with it. Look, it just works. So you guys can come here, lose the... Yeah, so do we have subjects at all? We do. Bali. Oh, you poor, poor Bali. Oh, they don't have enough development there. That's a shame. What else do we have here? Income from vessels. Oh yeah, do we have the Mandela reform, right? Surprise it as an icon. Minus 33%. Oh, what a shame. Can't even become a stateless society. But yeah, I think, if I recall correctly, a lot of these missions are just absolutely broken. Citizen of World Desire. Why does it put me here? Wait. Oh, capital development at least 50 does not have higher development than full stop. Impressive. Why do you, why would you get death cost minus five? At, wait, this is trivial. Because you can just concentrate development. I really wonder if the AI will abuse this to death. That'll be great. Want a broken tree check Italy? That's the same as before, right? I want to um, check the Malacca tree, but also the... What are all these like, singular ones? Subjugate, got subjugation CB, own everything, you get morale, 10 years, 20 years. Oh yeah, the Roman Empire claims, I remember that. Make Sia a vessel, destroy much of heat. Enables the Malacca campaigns killing and I guess any country with a Malay pr primary cultures. One of our four Malaya. Hmm. It's a bit annoying to just annex that. I feel bad for anyone who cared about this place and just forced to push through. Um, I never know, cause like the this 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 it's it's trash. It's like there are like some semblances of good content. Like the monument art is great, and there's some of them that are perfectly balanced. Uh, new mission trees is almost nice, but like. You take a look at Hawaii, and uh, um, everything has the same freaking icon. There's like, people put in effort, and then someone says, you're not, you have to stop this, we don't care. We don't have QA, like they either don't or won't use QA time to find or fix bugs. Um, it's shoddy, there's programmer art, there are so many things as well. Um, same here, like, I, I showed this before when Dennis asked, like, um, like, um, Delhi, like, I'm sorry, sick religion having, like, programmer art still in. What happened? Paradox is paradox. That's what happened. Um, another, uh, there, there's, like, um, or, or other, uh, where is it? Here. Modifiers like this. It, yeah. It, it's just business as usual at Paradox. Um, this goes beyond no QA. It's the same as before. Emperor release was absolutely broken as well. 
Um, like, I don't have a QA team for my work, but... Uh, well, the thing is that... Um, for my... Um, I don't know much about the inner workings of Paradox, but from the fact that in Dev Diaries they mentioned they worked on this on their free time, it wouldn't have surprised me if they were told to just fix it, fix it themselves when they had other things to work on. We also know that this is like this way for at least a week because the um, the content creators who got this DLC a week ago uh, had the same checksum. So unlike other versions where there actually was, like Emperor actually had a day zero patch, as it were. Uh, this DLC does not. And a lot of these things can easily be fixed. And then there are many more things that just break when you disable the DLC. Um, like the magic hit tree. Um, to get rid of this disaster, you need to complete a mission. When you don't own the DLC, you don't have that mission. So you can never get rid of this. Some people, yeah, exactly, Pizza. Like, somewhere in the the chain of command, something is fundamentally broken. What the fuck were they doing all week? I have no idea. I don't think he happily said it, Dennis. I think that guy's fuming as well. Yeah, they just casually break it if you uh, if you don't have the DLC. Now, they, the thing is, Dennis, they should have pushed out the hotfix today with the release. I, I don't... You know, one of the other things, there's no release stream today, right? I have a feeling that the, the the people who would normally do that are just completely in a bind. Um, I think that, that Bjorn B is just... There was a release stream today? I didn't see it. Uh, like 10 a.m. I was still in bed at that point. Um, like, there's just something fundamentally broken in the Paradox hierarchy, and it has been that way for ages. It's not a surprise that this is happening at all. But it is surprising how bad it is this time. Because this is atrocious. Um, I know that they moved to uh, Spain during this cycle. They moved to Tinto. Um, they moved to Tinto and that of course would have taken a hit on their uh, on their things as well. Is Nemesis really that bad? I, I know about Nemesis with regards to um, uh, the, the, the pop creation cost. Is Paradox such a bad spot for cash? No, and that makes it even worse. They are making f money over fists with everything. Um, yeah, Borm, they fixed a thousand bugs, and I'm pretty sure most of those will be typos or things introduced during development. Uh, that comment was disingenuous at best. Um, hey there, Kellum. Um, yeah, so Paradox makes tons of money because, like, the overall company... Um, yeah, they fixed a thousand gyrotics, exactly. Uh, the overall company has so much money because they are, they're buying... Um, they're buying studios. They're, like, expanding teams. But the fact that they can't pay... Oh, yeah, I'll check that as well, Frozen Kaiser. Uh, the fact that they can't pay for freaking QA is just sad. Ah, there we go. Good old... Good... There we go. Beautiful. They close because they fumigated the opposite. They killed a thousand bugs. <laughs> um, yeah, like exactly. Boom. Gyra tickets are such a terrible. Um, they are they're such a terrible way of, of like keeping track of things because Paradox uses Gyra internally as a way to keep track of uh, process. Like uh, they would have a Gyra um, epoch, I think you would call it for like content then you attach things to it right it's a good way of doing these things um but you know it's disingenuous to say oh we fixed a thousand bugs when part of those will be normal ones introduced during development and then you know none of them are active um active bugs as well and like um there are so many bugs here that can be found with basic qa like seriously um, 
a few people would at least be able to tell us. And though, and then I would say, if I was the guy in charge, of course, I there would be other things in, 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 to consider as well. Um, but I would say, um, just delay it. But of course they won't, because someone higher up just um, just says no, push it through. Do we know Paradox? There, there, I think Paradox, if I recall correctly, this is fairly old news, but I think every single team has at least one dedicated QA, and then there is some in-house QA. That being said, uh, a year or so ago, they fired all of their publisher QA. They had an internal team um, that would help other studios they owned with, um, with QA before release as well, you know? This is one of the things, the services that a publisher provides. And of course, this team would also be able to be used for their own in-house releases. They don't have that anymore. Um, ergo, it's... Um, ergo, like they're, they're so, there's such a smaller amount of QA that Paradox can provide to their own, um, their own teams. And it's just... It's just confusing as all hell because um, um, because it's crucial, right? Almost seems to how Blizzard has been acting in the last decade. Yeah, it's the same. Like there, that was years ago. Yeah, but like it's, I, I don't know. It, I would like to say, oh, they probably hired more QA, but like the release, the state of this release shows that it's just pathetic. If they have QA, they are woefully incompetent at their job. If they aren't incompetent at their job, then um, um, then there's just so much crap for them to fix and they should have delayed it. I think some of these... Uh, but these tooltips were broken as well. Um, I'm not entirely sure. Jake should, leaving should have been a huge red flag to all of us. Well, Jake's very, like, on his own side. It's not... I, I wouldn't be able to, like, 100% for sure connect it, but, like, in hindsight, yeah. Yeah, Jake doing anything means nothing, but in hindsight... Mm. To quote Johan, I would not have done the new mansions because it's held to balance and set up. I don't think it's entirely great for gameplay. They noticed because uh, the, the thing with the mission trees is that it, it's great for flavor. Um... But it's also, it's hell to balance. It's huge with power creep. Um, and it's, it causes such a huge vacuum of missions um, for nations that don't have them. You get the same thing with like national ideas. Uh, old missions were kind of bad. I would have preferred like more, um, the old mission system was kind of all right. I would have preferred something like, that, like a dedicated slot that a nation could have for their own, uh, their own missions. Um, blah, 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 blah. I I, I kind of I like the new mission system, but I can see where the, the issues like us. It's like it has the benefits that the Hoi Four one has as well. The old old mission system was random, which was really bad. Like I remember starting the game, and like oh you have to just kind of hope that you can get a claim because otherwise you're kind of yeah. Um, no the it, the thing is lucky the new mission system has a shit ton of potential. But it it's the issue is that when a nation gets a great big honking tree, by comparison, other nations will be left in the dust. And then you also get things like the Majapahi tree and the Ayutthaya tree being just bonkers. The same with the Great Britain tree. It's insane the amount of stuff you get. And then you have other nations which, you know, did great things and they just get, like, jack shit. Um... Bug getting released like this means devs not getting told to prove anything like bug fixes. I think you just didn't have the time. He also says it was very invisible. Yeah, that's the issue. It was random and invisible. It's kind of the worst things you can do there. Um, for your friends, PU. Yeah, like I said, England, England's mission tree is just oof. That's balance system, not the... Yeah, like, it, it's, it's an accumulation of things. Lucky. Um... Um, the system itself is not fundamentally flawed, 
but the way they fill it in kind of is. I, I don't think you can even do it better. Um, but I, I don't entirely agree there, Kaiser. There's like, there are some good things in there, but the balance is just way, way off. Like, I can understand that in Southeast Asia, there are more monuments in Southeast Asia um, uh, DLC, but it feels weird that, you know, Europe has jack shit. Um, they can't do it better than it's fundamentally flawed. I, nah, I don't agree. You can do missions better. It helped, like, it gives... It, one of the things it does really well is give a tool to modders. That's really, really nice. Yeah, the thing is, I know England has two warm, but like, um, Southeast Asia is just filled to the brim with them. Like, there's like 15 or so there. Um, in overall, I'm just disappointed. Um, the, um, Sweden has one as well. No, it's Norway. Um, they have one here. The the Stave Church. The thing as well is that the, the bonuses in the middle in the South Asia are just insane. Disappointed you imply someone else. No, I'm. I, I can wish for something better. It's exactly like I expected, but I'm still disappointed. I expected nothing, and I'm still disappointed here. Um, oh yeah, the one in Morocco is really really good as well. Um, I think it's over here. Where is it? Oh, here it is. This one. Probably really the balance. Yeah, exactly. It's like, some of these are insanely powerful. This one and this one. And even if Europe had more, right? Um, is it paradise? <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> they had that one over there. Oh, man. It's just, um, it shows once more that Paradox does not have its priorities, right? It, they know how to make, the, you know, how to hire content designers. But what they don't know is to actually tell these people to design a product. Um, then you also have this, the fact that it appears there is no QA. And I'm sure they do have some, but... Um, yeah, it's just... It appears like they don't. So more Bjorn B statements. I can assure you that we do not take these matters lightly. And again, I won't try to make excuses. Yeah, they <laughs> they can't because they know people will poke through that. Assuming uh, that the development team just shrugging off and laughing all the way to the bank is rather presumptuous. I agree there because they're not the ones who are in, in the end responsible for this product getting shipped. As in like today. Uh, the team gives us a number of people recruited from the community, people that love to join Tinto for the love of the game, desire to make it the best it can be. Sometimes things don't just work out from the best way from the start, however. I disagree there. Um, uh, a lot of these bugs are easy to fix and easy to find. Um, so that it doesn't work out the best way from the start, I think is a bit weird. I can understand that moving to Tinto adds with it some challenges, but delayed the DLC, but they didn't. I once again promise that everyone involved is working really hard to have a patch out as soon as possible. We do not believe in the abuse of workforce. Uh, it, worms, so many are immediately uh, extremely obvious. Did no one check all the monuments? No, of course they didn't. Like, that's... I, I honestly think that Paradox just... Uh, I'll do it in the second pass. I honestly think that they just do not uh, do, like, a code review for stuff that people push and like just like take five minutes like take an hour or two in like a day or like in, in a week i mean or just and just like do a one-on-one -on -one with someone else and just like go over all of them and say like it does it make sense is this code correct and not because i don't trust them that they can't write it down um right but they're ugh. um sadly i can't comment yeah fair enough i Okay, let's say it this way. If they're not doing it, they should, and if they are doing it, they're not doing it very well. Cheers, Hoovy. I'm gonna I'm gonna still Oh I I am in um console command. Oh Mord. The DLC release Steiner wird das alles in Ordnung bringen. God. Yeah, I'm using console here to look around. Um 
I can't remember at least for literally everything. Like, the thing is, it's like, it's not broken, but it's like hobbles along. Human error happens and the whole point is that they should double check work. Yeah, exactly, right? Like I, I had done this myself as well. Like I have coded so much and I make mistakes and then people tell us and then we fix it. Um... Um, if your dev process have a code review for everything you're doing it wrong, yeah, like there should be there should be a check on like basically every commit. Like it might seem excessive, but for a company like this, um, when you push out this kind of content, something is wrong. Uh, Bjorn responding to someone is abuse of customer. Don't agree. Not quite comparable. It's quite easy to refund the expansion and rollback. Yeah, I agree there. Um, but it's still. It doesn't fix any of the issues, obviously. This feels like a bunch of modders cobbled this. No, 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 JJ. Modders can make better content. I, from experience, Kaiserreich has better. Um, the 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 stuff for for Kaiserreich and Equestria at War has better QA than than Paradox here. Yeah, exactly. Um, but it doesn't feel like no, no. It's better. The modders are better than what Paradox is doing, and I know Paradox has other things as well. Um, also, yeah, uh, for Kaiserreich, what we have is we have an open um, bug thing and we have a bunch of testers. And then people play the game and they notice bugs and they tell us and then you get you get an email that says you were tagged in this GitHub ticket and then you can fix it. Because almost always the fixes aren't that difficult, so it happens fairly quickly. Uh, yeah, it's a small family. Like, they're still pretending to be the small family lemonade, lemonade stand, which is very unfortunate. You actually, fi yeah, I know, it's insane, right? Actually fixing things, actually fixing typos. We, so, um, I worked on a project, uh, the, 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 the Hoi code, the Hoi 4 code validator before the current one, the CW tools for, uh, um, um, for Visual Studio Code was released, which was a large collection of scripts that would double check everything, as in make sure that events are called, make sure that um, uh, lo localization is assigned and not doubly done so, making sure that, you know, you know, uh, that, that textures are assigned to things. These are literally systems that modders can build themselves and use to a greater extent than Paradox can. I think I also heard about some missions that just crash the game if you hover over them. I have experiences myself in Hoi 4. Uh, it is not difficult to do, but, um, you know, stuff like that is stuff that you should try. Total development grown by at least 50 dev. What is this kind of mission? Oh, you get three more. Woohoo. Um, when they were the small family limits and they built better shit. Well, no. I mean, EU1 was probably super jank. It's a generic mission tree. Just reorganize. You mean this one? Oh, you mean this one? Uh, yeah, well, I mean, no, no, this one is. Um, as is this one. As is this one. This one isn't. The bottom part, yeah, yeah, you're right. I find it often the case once a company hits 100 people, it loses something that can make it special. Uh, I think the issue with Paradox is that you just don't... Uh, this is also copied mission, by the way. Oceania region. Um, <sighs> plenty of big companies do make good games, but I think Paradox fell prey to the whole we're still a small company vibe. And then just like... They they like give people too much on their plate as well. I would imagine that um they just tell them okay go make content like a, a modder here do this region for us and then just like I don't know if this is true um but they meant someone in chat mentioned that a modder made New Zealand it would not have surprised me if they just like f force push onto the branch and just leave it alone. Like, oh, nobody actually, oh, are these, like, actually unique ones? No, nobody cares to check, because it's, like, it's not their job to do uh, New Zealand and, and, and Australia. 
a MLG. What the hell is this? Default focus trees partially. All of it is what? Why is all of this like separated out? It's I don't get it. Dream of any own problems is Christian. Unlock the cult. This is a mission stump. Yeah. Any problems? The main line is what? Why do you unlock all these cults here with that? So do you start with none? No. It's the uh. Yeah, you just get to start with three. You start with just three. That's great. Ah, oh, wonderful. Mission stumped. Uh, the issue is we also went with the same shit with Emperor. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, it's supposed to be literally fetishist. Yeah, the icons are the, uh, the same as well. Um... Man... It's supposed to be unique. Yeah, it's supposed to be unique religion. It's uh, also yeah, they all have it here. It's the religion of this area. Yeah, th exactly. Uh, also, that is unique. Yeah, of course. I mean, I mean, they do have Inti. No. But that's that's not a good argument, Baz. I'm sorry, but it's you no. Know, the religion modifiers are still not you know fantastic, but don't you love the boar here? I mean, if you're talking about the natives, then you are correct. Yeah, I know, uh, Baz. South America got barely any any glance. It's not about balance or making sense of how fast you can take over the world. That's it. I am. Unironically, I imagine that that's the way they balance some things. They just were like, oh, it's too overpowered, doesn't matter, players will like it. And they could not be bothered to create a bunch of new mission icons? Yes. Very much so. I think... I think everything Paradox, like, not everything they do is, is becomes poison, but, like... Um, they just don't know how to handle large projects. I mean, they, they gave uh, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2 to a tiny... Um, um, a tiny, a tiny company that made like mobile games and then expected that to work out. Yeah, of course, it does doesn't. And then they they finally put it out of their hands. You got a shout out. Literally thousands of people are enjoying it right now on Twitch. Enjoying is not the right thing. You wanna? Well, I have a feeling that Bjorn B would um, look at this stream with dread. Here, we're uh, forty people are gonna <laughs> are watching. As we tear this to sunders. It isn't what we wanted, sure, but roll back or enjoy a Mimi World Conquest run with the bugs or something. Yeah, please must, yeah. Man, I mean, I have a feeling that doing a uh, a broken run as uh, as one of these guys could be interesting, but it just... Man. It's such a joke. And of course, you can't form any nations because then you will lose your unique ideas. Or you need to just, like, not take the new ones. You're the 10th highest viewer. Okay, that's kind of sad. I'm not going to lie. Oh, uh, they see a EU4 Leviathan and release like all others. I wonder if, like, a dev would look at that and say, hmm, that cannot be good. Uh, if you bought it, refund. Yeah, if you didn't buy it, don't buy it yet. Wait for them to fix it. I... I believe that Paradox will do a good attempt at fixing this. But it never should have been released in this state. Interesting. Broken cannot be substituted as a substitute for good, isn't it? Jake uh, Ryukyu. 12th highest view count is left by I'm not angry, I'm just disappointed. That's kind of what everyone is feeling. Like, it's not unlike Paradox to release this. I am not angry anymore. It's just, it's like, I would have been angry at, like, I don't know, Mara Nostrum. Or, um... Uh... Like, around the early DLCs, you would have already been been angry and it never went better. Like, Art of War was good, but Golden Central was a fucking meme. <sighs> Very angry is another way to chance. That's, that's fair. 
Yeah, I I agree there. I can I can I can see where you're coming from, Worm. The incompetence and unprofessionalism showing in this release is is, is insane. And it's just another common sense was good. Um, it just shows another episode of paradox. Just, um, just being paradox. Unfortunately, Emperor was hyped, and then you could just couldn't take any money at war. This is for yeah, out of the mind. Yeah, it's just <sighs> the first. No, I don't exactly agree with that pizza. Uh, Conquest of Paradise was uh, a pretty big joke, in my opinion. Oh, if you weren't feeling like playing multiplayer, this uh, this just uh, keeps it well. Dharma was kind of nice. The I, I like the elephants. That was good. Uh, most were being the keyword. Yeah, fair enough. The random new world was just completely broken and uh, you know never fixed until a few patches ago. At least good on them for not cracking the whip on their employees and the inciting burnouts. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't agree with that Orange, orange Kelster. As in, they're um, a hundred percent sure they were uh, uh, working overtime last week. Sorry, maybe they weren't because there's no patch released. Supposedly, so was the Irish name. Yeah, yeah. Look, look where that got us. At a beauties like this. Monuments to value so many national ideas. Uh, national ideas. I, they also devalue idea groups. Etc. 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 Please show. Yeah, there's like. Um, this has apostrophes here that don't show up here. Um, that probably shouldn't be capitalized. Um, beautiful. I remember when I just said the day was beat every day. I did say that, but it's probably not going to happen, unfortunately. Uh, today didn't really work out that well. The weather was too nice. What's it? But's better thanks to the DLC. Oof. Um, as a whole, the monuments add flavor and a direction and a thing to conquer. The balance is whack, but. Um, that's besides the point. Um, let's see. The mission trees, the new mission trees, like it does make Oceania playable, but was it really required? I'm not sure. Uh, there are two DLCs that add monuments. I have both of them, which is why they'll all be here. Um, let's see. What else would be better? Um, I, I guess you could say the mission, the new mission series are good. The fact that they added content is good. It's just unbalanced as all hell. Um, yeah, like they said, is this fun? Um, well, I'm, depends on your definition of fun. If you like overpowered, broken crap, like, um, like this kind of memory, then yeah, I guess it's fun. It's very, very broken. Um, yeah, so they, in an, in an interview fairly recently, um, they said that they were not working on EU5 at the moment and that there were many, many more DLC ideas for EU4. Frankly, what I take that to mean is... Um, uh, is that they're going to flesh out regions, but never actually fix core systems. They will continue to put Band-Aid and Band-Aid and Band-Aid over the game, but core mechanics like trade and colonization will still be mediocre as all hell. The thing is, Krebs, some of these things cannot be fixed um, by a, a DLC. You need a new, new install, installment for that. Honestly, I I just want to like give me one fixed DLC. Like do one DLC for South America, right? The last region that is actually still trash. Flesh that out and then do one or two more bug fix patches and then just say we're working on EU5. Cause it feels like they're like CK EU4 was released not too long after CK2. And the fact that they're saying, oh, we're going to keep this game alive for much longer just sounds like just, you know, putting a corpse 
together. Um, uh, they just like keeping a, corp a corpse up for as long as it can make money, and it will make money because there's enough para drones around. Some that bothers me are the hope I address in EU fires where you can colonize a new world but not have colonies always set to OTL colonial borderlines. There's a lot of things wrong with colonialization. Um, it is, it makes no sense. It's completely busted. Hey, look, kids, there is a um, 10 dev province here. What does it mean? Why is there 10 development? What the fuck does five base production mean in, in, in a. In, a, in a, a dry wasteland where no one lives. And no one knows. But uh, if you go here, you get 10, ten development. Uh, honestly, in an afternoon, I could I could draft board a better mechanic. I'm not saying I could implement it. But I could certainly think of better things. Um, imagine Joan sitting in the Gamefura bunker in Barcelona or in QA around. <laughs> that only exists in his mind. <laughs> Oh, uh, yes, Johan, don't worry. We, we fixed the bugs. We we beat them back. Don't worry about it. What are the reviews? Yeah, Johan, it's it's very positive for a Leviathan. Uh, well, they, like, pull out his internet plug. God. Oh, man. <laughs> Glad we have all this government infrastructure. How nice. You know, with... Um, I mean, some of these are... Um, way more developed than they should be oh yeah of course the the, the colors are going to be off because um 85 development beijing i uh, again did not manually dev anything there i i actually have to go unfortunately uh, i've got dinner and then patreon games tonight um the conclusion what's your own position in the company he is game director for u4 um this dlc is awful don't buy it if you have bought it and you haven't spent two hours refund it wait for them to fix it because it is uh another episode in a long long history of paradox being um incompetent at worst and malicious uh well incompetent at best and actively malicious at worst um yeah it's just sad. So sad. I'll see you guys tonight.